Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and with me is Oz, of course. Of course, Oz. We do this every week. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is yes, sir. Uh, Gaming Watch Weekly, episode five for uh, July 29th, 2019. Because we'll be putting it out tomorrow. We recorded it on the day before, but that's the day it'll release. So, uh, how are you doing over there today, Oz? Uh, pretty good. Getting ready for my trip to Michigan to bring my daughter back to Arizona. So, uh, not yeah. too bad. Yeah, I bet your wife and you are both excited for that. We are. We are. Yeah. Visiting the grandparents for the summer. She's probably had a, a good time out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's <laughs> spoiled, so we're going to probably have to break her of a few things that they've uh, <laughs> started doing. So. Uh, that's what grandparents are good for, right? <laughs> yes, yes. So, um... Me, I'm a little bit tired today. I had a pretty busy day, so I'm hoping that I have the energy to get through this. So let's get started. All Very right. Good. So the first bit of news we have is some Fallout 76 news. Not Fallout 76. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a Fallout 76 raid begins August 20th. Uh, I guess the raid will uh, arrive on August 20th. They mm -hmm. had a panel that discussed it at QuakeCon. The raids are designed for four-player teams and will take place in vault 94 a uh, second raid in a different vault is being developed as well and will arrive in the not so distant future so <laughs> i'll have to wait for that they say yeah. they're also saying that the initial vault 94 raid is very puzzle based i'm not sure exactly what that means but yeah i don't know it might be kind of like how it is to launch a nuke you got to run around the silo and find all the codes and then put them in so i don't know yeah, that's a wait and see. Probably have to wait for that. Hopefully, yeah, I don't know. I I I, I want to like Fallout seventy six, but every time I log in, I get 10, 15 minutes into it, and I'm like, oh, Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> I have I have it. I got it from my son. I haven't played it yet. He played it, and liked it. I think I said that before. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I Maybe probably you and I don't have to do it, and might be a little bit better but i just don't like the fact that there are no npcs which they are fixing but it is just like what am i doing what's the point why I, am i here <laughs> i need to get all of this <laughs> i can't see us playing that we got too many things on our plate uh, in our queue God, right now and there's so me. much coming out especially in september are you kidding me have you looked at the okay. september release stuff it's you, crazy you and i are going to be like all right you take this, you take this, cut it in half, and yep. I'll talk to you uh, when I talk to you. <laughs> talk to you in December. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. I guess they, uh, I'm trying to read up on these notes here. There's some new power, new type of power armor that is being called the potted plant. I don't know. Uh, power, okay, if... so, okay, so I saw the picture of it before I put the notes in there. They're wearing power armor, and they have, like, potted plants with ferns growing on it so they have this like armor that uh it looks it what looks kind of like a ghillie suit but in you know power armor and it's supposed to actually give you some stealth you know increase improvement improves your stealth or something does it improve your movement speed because that's what you need in those power armor probably armors. not <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess that's all right. We get what we get, and we don't throw fits, right? Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, uh, the next uh, bit of news, uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. You want to go over? Sure. What you so, found in this? Wolfenstein uh, Youngblood, there's an in-game currency which you can use to buy in-game skins, weapons, upgrades, whatever. Well, uh, somebody has figured out how to cheat the system, get a bunch of the in-game currency, and buy everything on the store before you kill your first Nazi. And, however, it is against the uh, user agreement, and highly <laughs> I do not recommend it, because you'll probably get banned. Um, but, you know, as always, we have proven as gamers that if, they, if there's a way to cheat something, they're going to do it. So... Um, well, yeah, that, if there's a currency in the game, there's a mod that will let you get that currency for doing nothing. You just hit a button. Yes. Beep, 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 give me this much. Give yep. me more. So, like, unlimited skill points, armor, ammo, all of it, you know. It's in, uh, uh, like I said, the game was what out? It was put out, what, last Friday? And they're already now 
<laughs> cheating the currency. It's only been what two days. Uh, so. Doesn't doesn't take long. <laughs> no, doesn't take long at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there's that. I like I said for our viewers, don't do it. Just don't do it. So um, just to follow up on the Wolfenstein Youngblood, I guess it's getting meh reviews. It's good, but not great. Like mid seventies. So fast. Like it's. I guess you plow through the story real fast. Uh. So. Like you and I, who say, who can sit down for six hours at a time and plow through something, they're like done, <laughs> you know. Oh uh, well, you, we never do that. <laughs> uh, you know, yesterday was a bit of a marathon. It was um, a little bit, a little bit. You know, um, if you watched our live stream, you, you probably saw us bang our head on the keyboard a couple of times due to the raid. Yeah, I was just thinking about the Fallout seventy six puzzle based stuff. I hope it's not like our raid where I start to do part of a, what looks like a puzzle and somebody advances us to the next stage. And I'm like, I'm like halfway done here. Let me finish, yeah. man. And they're like, Nope, we're pushing on. We want to get, get through this. And yeah, that yep. was pretty bad, but that was bad. That uh, was bad. So if you want to watch it, it's at the end, towards the end of our video uh, Yeah, <laughs> from yesterday. There was a, there was some, uh, we almost raged. It was almost uh, some rage. Yeah, I was. I that was probably the most frustrated I have been in a long time. <laughs> when it count when it comes to raiding with other people, but in typical division style, you have your elitists, and then you have your noners, like non elitists, like us, and we were just playing it to casually play it, just to check it we out. Were, we were getting our butts kicked by Lucky and Lucy. I, I'm not. We were getting our. <laughs> We were getting our butts kicked. Right, but we only wiped, and what, these twice? these guys were just, you guys effing suck, blah, blah, blah. And I, I mean, I'm trying to keep this family friendly. Yeah. But I mean, it was, watch the video. It was very. Yeah, you can hear their mics. But yeah. we only wiped twice on that. Yes, but the fact is, is people went in there zerking, and they, they didn't listen to or, or read the chat. Uh, and where it said, hey, you know, you got to keep Lucky and Lucy, boom, 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 or one of them's going to overpower, and that's what one of them does. They overpower, and that Gatling gun goes, and everyone's dead. I, I, <laughs> I get you, and I was I was having trouble in there because I was trying to keep oh, yeah. my head down and trying to heal people at the same time, and it yeah, it, it just yeah. didn't seem to work. But No, but the worst part was the end. Yeah. When this guy was like, oh, there you a-holes go again, you know, not paying attention, not listening. I was like, dude, some of us, this is our first time. So yep. how about instead of everyone diving out the window, how about we sit here for a minute, come up with a game plan, and then go. But no, there's always some people that'll jump out the window, start pegging people, and then it goes. Yep. And then we're all shoved out the window, you know, and it's like... Uh, I've done this 20 this is, times. I'm going to go. Well, I'm there for the first time. so Yeah, and it had yeah. been nice to have completed it and maybe gotten some set gear out of it. Yeah. But no, we would... <laughs> <laughs> you can no, tell... No, we didn't even get that. <laughs> you can tell Oz is still a little upset over it because his, his total voice. Just, you know, I'm not... I, I, don't, I don't mind failing, but the <laughs> thing is, is I'd like to know where we were failing. The fact is, is it's like, okay, we got the concept, kind of. No, I had no idea just, about the concept. I was trying to figure it out up to the end well, there. So there's those four generators. Everyone charges them up to 100. And right. We, we got that part. Drones. We got that part. And then the panels open up and you blow up the panels. And I think it's just a repetitive cycle. But it's like... The drones were wasting us. So uh, oh, what, yeah. what oh, were yeah. we but doing wrong on there is the thing. I think it would, it would have been fine if we would have kind of like found a decent bunker down point where we all would have gathered there and then just taken out the drones and but it was really hard i still I mean, think there, there was no something place. we missed because one time i died and what killed me was across the map and it was not a drone yeah it so was probably one of those rockets or something uh it wasn't rockets a, would go off right but it then, wasn't a rocket because you guys died to that like 30 seconds later yeah so I, don't know. I was sitting there and i was looking at what <laughs> killed me and it did like Nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand damage on me, and I was like, and I can't even see. I can see like through the the thing in the middle of the map, and the wheel that it's on the other side of that. I'm like, how the heck does that even hit me? So I have no clue. we were missing something, and that something. guy was all that guy wanted to do was yell at us like, I know what you, we're supposed to be doing, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna yell at you for not knowing what you're doing. I'm like, oh yeah, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. 
So, All right. Anyways, uh, I hope our followers are not those people. No, don't be that guy. Yeah, don't no, be that nobody guy. will like you the next time they see you. And I remember that guy's name too. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, anyways, let's take a deep breath. Sure. Uh, moving on. Uh, moving on to the next story. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, right now, Pokemon Go. Yes, we're going back to Pokemon Go. Has a Team hey, Rocket Invasion team. event. Lots of people yep. are playing it, and it seems yes. to be picking up again. I'm not one of those people. I dis I uninstalled it, and it probably will never be on mine again, my phone again. But uh, I've thought about it. I thought about reinstalling it. Reinstalling it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, if you want to get it. some walking in, go do it. But uh, I guess uh, there have been numerous teases, and then finally, Team Rocket has finally made their debut in Pokemon Go. They did it early this week. Uh, they the villainous trainers would take over various Poke stops around the world so basically the pokey stops instead of their normal color they're like black now mm -hmm. and when you go to take them over you have to fight team rocket instead of whatever team you were on the other team's pokemon yeah. so there's that going on and if you guys are interested in that you should go check it out if you're still playing pokemon go then good for you and go check it out it's a lot of fun um I guess from 4 to 5 p.m. local time, Team Rocket Grunts will take over all of your local Pokestops. Pokes, pokes stops. Ugh, yes. can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteeing you will encounter the villainous traders. So, yeah, go and check that out and uh, let us know if you guys are still playing Pokemon Go in the comments because I'd like to know who's still playing and if it's worth playing anymore, if they've made enough up updates on it to make it worth going in and checking mm -hmm. out. Yeah. So... Sounds good, though. I mean, everyone's wanted Team Rocket to show up, so <clears throat> it's about time. Go, Team Rocket! <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so this next one, you wanted to talk about the Rage 2 update. New sure. Game Plus! <laughs> yep, so the first free update is now, uh, it looks like it is, I think, live now, if I'm reading this right, but basically... It uh, includes the Game Plus, which has been they've been screaming for. Um, there's also new content, um, and uh, there is actually a hard, hard or like a hard mode where you die once, game over, man. <laughs> you know, game you put over, it, man. Yeah, you put it down as Iron Man mode. Well, yeah, well that's what they called it was Iron Man mode. Um, but basically, it's hardco hardcore. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. hardcore mode. But. Um, Games Plus will let you keep your weapons, armor, skills, and then you just kind of keep going. And you also will earn prestige um, badges as well. Um, and then rounding out the uh, um, update, there are um, a variety of new cheats, skins, and number of quality of life improvements. Um, and a voice pack um, featuring uh, Wolfenstein's hero, uh, BJ Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. I'm gonna screw that up. <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, there's more content on the way for the game, but this is the first major content update. Um, I guess uh, Rising of the Ghost launches in September, introducing new missions, additional locations, a new faction, and then in November, Rage's second expansion is slated to arrive. Uh, with more missions, locations, and content. So uh, all this was announced at QuakeCon, and it's all it's going to be cross, I guess, cross platform. Or no, it's not cross platform, is it? Yeah, it is PC, Xbox. All well, that. yeah, it's so, anything that has Rage too. You can. It, this is yeah. part of it. Um, I should go back and check this out. I do have Rage I, Two. I beat the story. Uh, do you know what the prestige badges do? Did they say what you do? Or are they really, just? Uh, they might be just kind of. You know, you went back and did it. Badges of honor, collectibles. That yeah, you could probably show um, off. Yeah. yeah, it's too bad you can't um, buy some of them. Do you know if they're like so? If you get the uh, BFG and New Game Plus, is a new version of the BFG or is it still like the old version? Again, I mean, I'm just getting. The I, new I just yet. wrote down what it is I saw in, in from the um, article that uh, they had put out. So. Yeah. It really didn't go into a lot of detail, but I'm sure it's in game now, so we can find out pretty easily. Yeah, I could go check it out. Like I said, I beat the story, so I could go in and see what it's all about. Yeah, I got. I still have to install it and start it, but I've 
started down the rabbit hole of Star Wars, right. <laughs> the old, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. So I've got a weird clicking noise for the second time. Uh, it's gone now. Hmm. Weird. Are you uh, maybe clicking out of Discord or anything weird on your computer? No. No. Mm, no. So I don't know if it's my end or your end or if it's just the Discord thing because it's the first time we're using Discord. And go on on that topic. Um, we're trying to get it where both of our faces are using the same program so that we can do overlays and stuff. So what you guys see right now is temporary. Um, just a quick throw together so we could do the show this week. But uh, next week I will do it upright and I'll make it look nice and pretty. So look forward to Gotta that. Start looking professional. <laughs> <laughs> we look mostly professional. We're almost there. Yeah, we're on the we're yeah, on the cusp. Yeah. On the cusp. Well, now that uh, I'm trying to get us into uh, in with the uh, U- Ubisoft's Delta Oops. company, so we got to start looking professional. <laughs> yep, and I did pick up uh, Wildland, so we can uh, uh, yes, run through that. I read your text on that. Uh, we're gonna have to plow through that. I don't know if we should just do it live or just do Let's Plays on it, but we'll have to figure that out. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out for sure. And uh, your time and my time is going to be at a premium in the next couple weeks, so we'll have to sort that out. Yeah, I mean, like I said, once once my father gets back out here to help with uh, my daughter, it will it won't be as bad, but for until he gets out here next week, it'll be... That's why I'm trying to pre-record stuff up, so... Um, I'm still putting stuff out. It's just going to be pre-recorded because I got work yeah. and so, family stuff. So what do you got? Uh, what are you going to be releasing in the next so, so many days? So I am working on, of course, uh, playing through Knights of the Old Republic. Um, and I'm doing the kind of solo entry into Final Fantasy to where, you know, of course, you and I have ran through it. And I'm trying to remember what it is you've taught me and doing it kind of alone a little bit. Um of course, my primary is still the character you and I play on, but I'm just trying to like, okay, can I remember all this stuff and navigate? Because of course, when you step into a new MMO, it's like so much stuff. And then there's Final Fantasy, which is so much stuff. Oh, Final <laughs> Fantasy got so much stuff. And yeah, this, so it's, it's like huge. I'm a little overwhelmed when I'm by <laughs> myself, but it's like I gotta figure it out. You know, yeah. I'm a big boy. I can figure this out. <laughs> well, I've been playing it since its inception, even the bad inception. So. I've got. <laughs> we don't talk I've, about those times. No, we don't. We don't. We don't talk about that. Um, but I've gotten it in increments. So as they've in, introduced the features and stuff, I've got them in increments. So it's not so bad for me. But I couldn't imagine coming into it now and just being like, "Here you go. Here's the all you can eat smorgasbord of Final Fantasy Online." Because there's so much to do in that game. Yeah. So, so much stuff, but it's fun. It is. Um, for me, just to go over what I've got coming out in the next week av- after this show it gets put out on Tuesday through Friday and maybe beyond that. Well, it would be beyond that. I just don't know if I'm going to do the weekend. Um, I'm going to be putting out a Let's Play of, continuing my Let's Play of Fire Emblem Three Houses. So right on. It should be pretty good coming out with that. Good but anyways, so far. yeah, it's been a it's f- good game so far. We'll have to see uh, where it takes us. I just got to take that jump into the JRPGs, which I haven't done, but uh, well, I, I've been listening to you guys poke at me, but <laughs> hey, you need to do some JRPGs. I'm listening. I, I just, I got, he, I got so much on my plate. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, now we got to worry about the channel and now we're trying to become more professional. So it's like our time is thinning when it becomes to how much time we can spend in gaming. So Yeah, so we got to pick and choose which ones we want to bring you guys as content. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do our best. If there's anything you guys really want to see, let us know, and we will try to do our best to get it for and you, or or maybe we'll bring somebody else on and let them join in the fun. We'll, you know, we, we got options now, so we'll yeah, see what, we do. what comes up. All right, so moving on with the news. Sure. Pillar of Eternity is heading to the Nintendo Switch this summer. So uh, the isometric role-playing game, Pillars of Eternity, I don't know if Pillars of Eternity 2 is going to be going to it, but at least the first one is making its way to Nintendo Switch. Uh, Obsidian Entertainment announced the game will launch on Thursday, August 8th. So that's right around the corner. Yes, So right around the corner. Uh, I guess the Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition, which contains all the DLC and major updates, like... a uh, the raised level cap will retail for fifty dollars in the U.S. and when it launches, there's no confirmation whether it will receive a physical copy. But the sequel, Pillars of Eternity to Deadfire, is said to arrive 
on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One sometime later this year as well. So um, the interesting thing about this is that Xbox acquired Obsidian. So yep. this is now a Microsoft Studio game. Yes. And so it's going to be means... put out on Switch and PlayStation. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, so um, Obsidian's known for, you know, uh, like New Vegas, mm -hmm. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, Sith, uh, uh, Sith Lords. So, because, um, yeah, most people didn't know that there's two different studios that did Knights of the Old Republic. But, um, yeah. So, and they also got a, a Fallout uh, title now. Yeah, The um, Outer Worlds. Yeah, that should be pretty yeah. interesting when that comes out. And that's October 25th on... PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so and the Epic Store, so yeah. the, Microsoft's making moves and they're doing things that most people would not expect them to do. Hey, we're gonna buy these studios and release games on other platforms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I had a feeling that was gonna happen at some point. Um, they didn't want to just isolate themselves to just the Xbox realm and the PC realm. They were gonna try to do PlayStation. Everyone that has a system. They're, they're going to want a piece of that pie. Um, it's Microsoft, of course, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're trying to get back into the game and be on top of it, but we'll see what happens. It's Like I said, it's interesting strategy. I, I like it. I don't like um, exclusives on consoles. They drive me crazy. Let me play it on the best platform that I can play it on. PC. Where I, yeah, or, do, you know, if, you, <laughs> if you're going to if you're gonna lock it down to, you know, platforms or whatever then you know do do cross play do do other things you don't have to lock it on the platform just open it up let them do cross play and then we can play on whichever platform we want yes i agree i agree so all of right course. so our next order of news <laughs> i don't know if that's a thing but i guess it could be um star wars jedi fallen order so what's this all about here that you were uh so um Star Wars uh, uh, Fallen Order uh, was in development uh, before the uh, before the release of what is it? Sirku Sekiro. 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 Shadow. Shadows um, die twice. Twice. Um, uh, Respawn's confirmed it is uh, it is upcoming game and it is very I guess it's very similar to that game in the in with in play style except for when it comes to like the combat they've. Um, in uh, Star Wars um, uh, The Fallen Order, they've removed the um, stamina bar. So um, I guess you could just waylay on people and not worry about, you know, I'm running out of stamina and running around waiting for your stamina bar to fill up. So um, I'm going to make a confession here. I've played a lot of the Dark Souls and I've played them legit, but I've also mm -hmm. played them with mods on. And mm -hmm. one of the things I do is I turn off the stamina thing. I make it unlimited stamina. Okay. Just to see how it is. And it makes it a totally different game. And I think that's kind of what they're talking about here. Because all the Dark Souls, mm -hmm. the Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, the the Neo um, game, and the Neo 2 is going to be coming out. They all have like stamina. So when you swing your sword, your stamina bar goes down. And yep. you can put stats into that, you know, like any RPG, to build up your stamina. But it's so minute and so so small each time you do it that it takes so much to make any kind of change. Mm -hmm. so, so what this sounds like is that you could just do your moves, do your roll, do your your attack. And the yeah, only thing yep. you got to worry about is the AI or the enemies attacking you. And I'm down yep. for that. I'm definitely down yeah. for that. I mean, my confession is I haven't played <laughs> Dark Soul in any of those, so um, we talked about it. I probably should at some point get into it. But, um, yeah, the stamina bar is definitely something that it's like, eh, I'm not a – I don't like the sound of that. So <laughs> I definitely like the sound of it, only having to worry about incoming attacks. Well, um, even, even in Dark Souls, if you have a shield, if mm -hmm. you get hit, you lose stamina, so there's like this. <laughs> it's like okay. this ebb and flow of stamina. So you like roll, and now you got to watch your stamina before you attack. And then okay, I got enough stamina, I can attack. And then you back out, and you, it's like this whole like dance. And it makes it the game that it is, and it makes it kind of adds to the difficulty. Yeah. Where I don't think 
Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is really going to be that kind of difficult a game. It's more of an action game. Like, here's a story, mm-hmm. experience the world. If you want to play in a harder mode, you'd probably be able to, but, yeah. you know, you could just play and enjoy it and not have to get good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, first and foremost, Star Wars, most of the, the games have always been about telling the story and not always focusing on the combat aspect. I mean, well, besides, like, um, Republic Command that was very focused on the combat, but... It had a good story as well. So, but Star Wars is mostly about a good story. <laughs> yeah, you know? well, I mean, you got this whole universe, and everybody loves the universe. So, yeah, let's yes. tell another story in that universe, and that's what they're looking for. And mm-hmm. Fallen Order looks to be that, so I'm hoping that it's yes, everything I'm, we want. I'm excited for that one. <laughs> I'm very excited. We both are. We both are. We'll have to fight over who gets that one. <laughs> you know, we might just have to... I don't know. Share that one. Give it joint custody. Joint custody. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I think that uh, with the games coming out, I'll probably grab something else and let you do that on the channel, and I'll do something else. But Plenty that doesn't mean stuff. I won't play it. Doesn't mean I won't play nah, it. By all means, play yeah. it. I mean, like I said, I still got to play Rage Two and all of this other stuff. It's just so oh much. my god, so time. much, so much time. <laughs> All right, so here's the next one, and I don't know if you know much about Death Stranding. I think you see, said you saw the videos with the baby in the tube and stuff like that. Yeah, it it really like freaks me out to see stuff like that. But it's like it looks like such a good game. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a good game. We don't know what kind of gameplay we're going to get. It looks like a very I mean, interesting game, but is it okay, a good interesting, game? Interesting, not good, but interesting. <laughs> like it seems more puzzle based. I'll give you that. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. We, until we get some gameplay, we really don't know what this game is about. I mean, what gameplay I've seen is very limited, like him running around, exploring. Exactly. Putting this extending ladder out so he can cross a, 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 a you know, a crevasse in the ground. It's like, okay, but like again, what's the point? I don't understand the point or what's going on in the story. Yeah, and I can't imagine that Kojima would make a walking simulator where you're avoiding these enemies. There's got to be yeah. some combat, and there's got to be something that you actually do. So, yes. the story that we have is that the PlayStation Channel released a Death Stranding character video. It's the first mm-hmm. one that I've seen from them. There might have been more. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't seen another character video, but like everything else we've gotten on this game, it adds it just adds more questions, right? So we don't we don't know more. We got this guy Hartman. Yep. He's in a yep. he's in a hospital bed and it appears from what he's saying to Revis there mm-hmm. that he lives 21 minutes at a time in 21 minute increments. And then he has a device that stops his heart. And he dies for a period of time. I don't know how long. And then he's revived. What This all seems to be of his own doing. Like it's self-inflicted. Yep. And he's like searching for something while he's dead. And we don't know what that is. We have no idea. We just have to wait and see. Just another more, more weirdness to this Death Stranding thing. Like why is this guy killing himself every 21 minutes? And why is it 21 minutes? I mean, he's he's got well, short movies that he watches because they're 20 minutes. You know, it's like, what? I didn't even know they made those. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, how long is he dead for, too? You know, because you have to take, like, for me, I take in, like, okay, when you die, this is how long you got before brain damage sets in due to lack of oxygen, all of that stuff. Yeah. So how long is he under before he comes back out and then goes well, he you know? he is on a doctor's table, so he might be getting the oxygen his needs. He just might be his heart that stops, and the mm. and the body still circulates oxygen so that he can stay under long. I we don't know. I mean, it's just yeah weirdness more and more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely want to play it. Absolutely, just there's always more questions than there are answers. So yeah, it's like, I think that's the point though. I think that's the point. I think they want more questions than answers. So we get sucked into the game. Yeah. And he, his uh, statement that everything's connected. Well, how is this guy connected to anything? Because he's off in his own little room doing this experiment. It's like, what? there has to be something going on when he is yeah. dead that he's, I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kojima. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right our yeah. our last bit of news is 
Fire yeah. Emblem's Three Houses, uh, released on Nintendo Switch later at the end of last week, Friday. Yep. Well, I guess Nintendo has said that the voice actor for, I'm going to butcher this name, Byleth, um, in Fire Emblem Heroes and Fire Emblem's Three Houses, they were going to be changing his voice actor to another voice actor after claims that uh, Chris Niozzi allegedly inappropriate behavior and uh, he also apologized via Twitter or something. Okay. So I guess from what I was reading, and I don't have all the facts because you never have all the facts in these things like this. Mm-hmm. And just keep in mind, these are allegations. There's no evidence yeah. here. There's but, no facts. Yeah, yeah. I guess his ex-girlfriend said he had allegations of breaking NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, also using nepotism to get jobs in the voice acting career that he's in. Wow. And probably the worst thing is trying to coerce women into having sex with him that weren't interested in him. So, wow. um, and like I said, mind you, these are all allegations. There's no evidence that has been presented. But either way, Nintendo is not taking any chances and they're removing him from the game. So, yep. It doesn't pay to be a bad person. <laughs> so well, like I said, we can't say he's being a bad person, no. but it, it just. It, it, but if he's not, his ex girlfriend is. Yes. So somebody so, in this story is being a bad person. Yes. Yes. And uh, it just anymore. The companies are just distancing themselves from any type of allegations of this. If this stuff's going on, they're like, nope, we don't want it to cut into our profit margin and. It's too bad, so sad, sorry, but you gotta go. Um, yeah, it's a shame, you know. But, but it sounds the, like it's a great game. He could have done well, I think. <laughs> well, I mean, he already got paid for it, right? They're just taking him out so that they don't have to deal with him being him in there. again. Yeah. Um, so for DLCs or any future games, he's out. The Japanese companies, they don't mess around. They do that. No. There, I think there was somebody in the um, Judgment game that they did that too. They. Mm-hmm. It released, and they were like, he he did something, and they were like, nope, we're going to replace him, and they patched him out. Yep. They don't play around over there. No. no. Well, they, and their culture is completely different than ours. I spent some time over in Japan, and it is a lot different. And that, that stuff, over in the United States, it's like, oh, okay, that, you know, whatever. It, oh, we reward that kind of, we reward well, that kind of behavior. Yeah, well, over there, you don't, you don't get past it. That's no. always on, that's a, that's a black check on your record forever. In the States, you can generally get past it, but yeah. not over there. Well, we, so. we seem to reward the jerks and the buttholes over here. Um, That's our culture, though. And it I shouldn't mean, be, though. I mean, why? Why is that know. our culture? I don't. I'm like those guys. I'm they're, I'm done with you. I, I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm not going to watch your, your show. I'm not going to watch your YouTube channel. I'm not going to have anything to do with you. Yep. I'm done because you're a jerk. And I, I don't deal with those. I don't reward those type of that type of behavior. But everybody else is like, oh, yay. These guys are jerks well, we, and we, we want to make them rich. But we've had our discussions about the, certain people in the, yeah. the YouTube gaming industry that I have an issue with for certain things. And it's like, I don't know. I have a hard time getting around that. You know, it's like, it's, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? You just got to be you and do your thing and let them do their thing. And hopefully it all comes out in the wash. Yeah. So. True. All right. Enough of that. Uh, game releasing, games that are releasing this week. That's what we're going to go over now. Uh, looks yep. like Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, the deluxe edition, is coming to Switch on July 30th. This is a really good game if you like strategy uh, like XCOM type of games. It's set in a universe where there's mutants. Like one of the guys you play is a duck. It's like a human duck, almost like Howard the Duck, but carrying a gun and whatnot. <laughs> Another guy's like a upright walking bipedal pig. And so like they're all animal based, but kind of human. Mm-hmm. And you, you have the tactical battles where you move them into position and take cover, just like XCOM mm-hmm. and stuff. Really good game, a really good story. I haven't played the whole thing through, but... I played a good, like, three, four hours of it and really enjoyed it. So if you guys like those kind of games, check that one out. And the next one, huge release, even though it seems to be fading in popularity, but I don't see how it is because it's still making money every year. 
Madden NFL 20. It's coming to PlayStation yeah. 4, Xbox One, PC, August 2nd. Which yep. is what it was that a Friday or is that that's a Friday release? Yep, Friday release. So yep, uh, I used to do Madden tournaments back in the day. You said you used to play Madden, but I I play Madden every year. I just not that serious about it anymore. Yeah, I mean, I I, I enjoyed it when I was in the military, and especially when we were deployed. So there'd always be. <laughs> You know, there, there's always PlayStations and Xboxes set up, and that would ha- and that would be one of the primary games that would be playing, and you would just people would play against each other, and it was always a lot of fun, help pass the time and the monotony of being in the Middle East. But um, oh, since a- I've been back and out of the military, really, I haven't touched it that much. You know? Yeah. Well, it is a great couch co-op game, so it's yes, got that. It is. Yeah, it is. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. I don't know if anybody else shares this opinion. When they released Ultimate Team and started going to that crappy card base, collecting your teams thing, yep. it changed the game and it ruined it for me. I mean, yeah. it just ruined it for me. And the things that they did that uh, were features before that they took out, like being able to make your own plays, mm-hmm. being able to create your own teams with anybody you wanted that was on other teams very easily. Yeah. Um, just they took all that away now if you want to have your own team you've got a draft and you've got to control all the teams in the draft because if you don't they'll take the player you want so yep. it's uh yeah it's really bad what i used to do is i used to i play fantasy football so i would uh take all my fantasy my fantasy team and the other fantasy teams from the league and i would take like whoever their starting quarterback was and i'd make it that would be their team and then I would give them the players that they picked on those teams and play against them. So it was a lot of fun, but now I can't do that. Not easily, anyways. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so. uh, I don't know why they changed it, but, you know, that's, uh, that's what EA who did that. So Yeah, I mean, I understand it's a business thing, and they're making all kinds of money on these card packs and mm-hmm. everything, but it's kind of like when Diablo three came out and Mm -hmm. they took away a bunch of features to make it online excuse me online only yep and everybody's like oh no that's fine online only is fine i'm like yeah until you can't get online yeah okay so you you tell me why it's okay for console to play offline but not pc Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know it's because when the pc came out there they had the auction house the real money auction house oh that was a cluster and then once they got rid of that and then later released the console version they said oh Mm -hmm. no problem but they were already in the online only on the pc so they were kind of stuck there but they could have made it where you only got the auction house for your online characters and they had it set up in diablo 2 where you had online characters and offline characters people Mm -hmm. forget that stuff so basically what they did is they removed the feature and people were okay with it. And I'm like, no, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> not at all, man. Don't be taking away features from games that I like and the features that I like. It's not cool. You liked the Real Money Auction House? No, I liked being able to play oh. offline in Diablo yes. 2. Oh, yes. I hated that Real Money Auction House. That was such a fiasco. Yeah, like many people said, you spend more time in the auction house getting gear than you would in the game getting gear. Yep. Yep. So what you were really hoping for was not the gear that was going to get you an upgrade. The gear that was going to get you a lot of money. You could buy a bunch of upgrades in the auction house. That's what you are trying to get. Uh, it was true horrible. That. It was horrible. Very true. All right, so enough ranting and raving. It seems like we did some <laughs> ranting in this one. <laughs> well, you know, it's we're getting used to doing this and we, we've now spent time gaming with each other um, online and whatnot so um, it's now more easy to rant about what it is that's bothering us you know because early on we were still learning you <laughs> play styles were and uh, now it's a lot different we know how we how we usually play certain games you know I'm usually like I usually charge in and I get I, and start getting myself into trouble and you're way back going what are you doing what are you doing Killing <laughs> I'm, stuff i'm actually stuff. i'm actually used to that game style because my son does that my son is the worst for jumping ahead and grabbing all the kills and grabbing all the loot 
and then coming See, back and saying, "Oh, you want this thing that I don't need anymore? Here you go." But like now you got this upgrade that yeah, so it's like, "Oh, come on, man." <laughs> well, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to steal kills. I'm just trying to like get out there. You know, I tactfully do it. I mean, I go out there, I charge forward, I take my position. And then if I have to retreat because I charged in too hard, I try to. But usually by then it's like I'm pinned down and can't do it. So. Well, you know, anymore it doesn't matter because now we don't share loot. We we have our own loot pool. So it doesn't matter. And I'm getting experience for what you kill anyway. So me sitting back and hitting you with a heal every once in a while and, and getting my pox shots off and taking out the guys that are trying to flank you, I'm fine with that. That's my play style anyways. I like getting the flankers and being the flankers so it's fine with me yeah. it doesn't bother me one bit as long as it doesn't take away from my loot gotta have my loot you know, well i said you know like in division two we have our own loot table and then it, it's like anymore we're we're almost wearing the same same gear now so it's, yep. it's like you have this we were wearing the exact same knee pads and, and chest piece and i think my other stuff is a little more offensive to where I think yours is a little more defensive. But Oh, I'm... yours is offensive, all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I try to offend everybody. No, <laughs> it's just, that's my play style. But I, I, I'm, after doing that raid last night, I now know that it's like, okay, I got to like pull mods out and look at gear and or health and armor as a, and not so much like, oh, this increases LMG damage or this increases assault rifle damage by this much. It's like, I'm not tanky enough. <laughs> not at all. Uh, I don't think anybody is for the raid. I mean, I think it's one of those things where you got to pick your time to shoot so that you don't get hit. But, um, you know, that's one of those things. I, I think a lot of games, though, are going to the, the loot system where nobody loses out because they know the frustration. Everybody has that frustration where... You have those aggressive guys. You have those guys that want to be more support. You have those guys that are kind of tweeners. And you want to give all of those guys rewards because they all play a part. Yep. So they're trying to get to that. And, uh, you know, like Borderlands 2 was a big game with my son that he would rush ahead and grab all the loot. That was, like, the one that I remember the most. So yeah. Borderlands 3, when it comes out, is that right? Is it 3? It's 3, right? Yeah, it's 3. Yeah, it's 3. Uh, sorry, it's been a long day. Um they actually made it where you're going to have individual loot pools. So I'm looking forward to that. You can go back to the old loot style, but <laughs> nope, ain't doing it. Nuh uh, not in my games. <laughs> no, you know, it's just like in the old MMOs. It's like, you know, just loot dropping and people rolling for it. It's kind of going the wayside anymore to where it's like everyone just gets individual loot drops and. Yep. That's fine. I mean, I kind of miss the, the old style, but in the long run, I think it's better. Everyone still gets rewarded with something. Now, whether you can use it or not, it's a different story. Whether it's a true upgrade or not. Yeah. Well, that comes know, down to the individual. That. that comes down to the individual. I mean, that's yeah. just like Final Fantasy fourteen, right? You, you know, you ran a couple dungeons and things drop and you say need, greed, or pass. So, I mean, that's just oh. the way it goes. I've learned, you know, need what you need, but I just agree. I, I stopped passing, so it's like, you know, cause I might, you never know, I might roll something else that could use it later, so. Yeah, you might, and uh, until you get to the point where my main on there is, where I got so much gear that I can't swap sets out without moving something out of my armory chest. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> I want to ch play a gladiator. Can't do it because you got 35 chest pieces. You need to move one of those out. It's like, ah. And then you got so many things because you're like gr greeting on everything. You're like, I don't know which things I'm using and what I'm not. Because yeah. I got characters all over the spectrum of levels. So there, there's that too. So just be cautious. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, well, like I said, I'm trying to take a very... Uh laid back approach to it however i do enjoy that game a lot i do i did enjoy the first infernal that we took out that is on our live uh, the primal yeah the primal yeah. was fun except yeah. for that other deeps needed to learn to hit the spike had he done that the first time around we, we would have won waited, but... but see we didn't do it we didn't handle it like that guy in division we just said hey deeps needs to handle the spikes when it drops yeah and then he was like oh okay and then when we fought the next time, he he fought. He went over to the spike when it was there, and we won. So that's all yeah. it takes is communicating properly and you know some encouragement. That's it. Yeah, there's no need to be a douche in these games, but it's 
gaming seems to bring it out in people, man. Brings it out in people. Only certain games. Well, I mean, you see it in WoW. You see it in Division now. Um, so yeah. far, I haven't seen it in Final Fantasy. It was actually a really good community. I mean, I'm sitting there in the tavern, and people are like, I hope, you have a, I hope you're having a great day. I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> thank you, you know? And it's it's like, okay, that's weird. You know, people in WoW would be like, what are you I don't care if you're having a good day. Get out of here, noob. <laughs> <You know? laughs> or they would just ignore you, go right past you, you know, or yeah. cover up whatever vendor or innkeeper you're oh, trying yeah. to they'll get pop to. Out their, uh, they'll pop out their, their giant mouth. Their mammoth and cover them up. <laughs> you're like, get out the way, moron. <laughs> hey, I, I had to report somebody for that. There was an end game event going on. It had limited time, and someone just parked their mammoth right over the gnome vendor. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, I asked them to move nicely several times and they ignored me. So it's like, all right, you don't go AFK when you're doing that stuff. Cause that yeah. just, yep. Some people just don't care. They got that uh, online anonymity and they're like, Oh, nobody knows who I am. Well, maybe yeah. not, but unless you want to come up with another name and another account, well, you might want to be nice. <laughs> <sighs> the internet tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> they're always that. Yeah. All right, so I, we've covered everything, unless you got anything else. No, no, I think we covered everything that was worth covering for the week. If I missed something, I apologize. But, um, you know, uh, well, we tried to keep the show within a certain time limit, and yeah. I, I, can't, I can't put in everything that's happening. I just try to highlight what the big stuff is. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, partly this week, if there's anything missing, it's my fault because I've been busy and working on trying to record a song with my band and everything so it's yeah i've been busy and then streaming getting you ready for streaming and all that i haven't had time to really sit down and go through the news like i would like but i think we covered everything and next week we'll double up and make sure that we don't miss anything and if we did miss anything let us know and we will try to catch up on that yep so um i guess we'll wrap this up then so and sounds good till next week or next video Take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz. And us. See you guys later. We're out. Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>